In this video, we're going to be talking about color gradients and how to apply them. So in order to apply gradients, we've got the gradient panel in here. And then we have a white background that we can be selecting that one. I'm blocking that layer for background. And I'm going to be selecting that white rectangle with white fill, as you can see. And then going back to gradient panel. And we can be selecting that default gradient from here, which is a gradient of white and black. And also we've got some other gradients in here as you can see sky, orchid, summer, golden ring or even from our swatches panel if you remember we're going to be seeing them in here as well. And also in our swatches we can be accessing grade preset. If we click on that button we're going to be finding gradients. We're going to be seeing brights, color harmonies, earth tone, fades and all these gradients. So for instance if we choose gems and jewels in here going to be seeing all these nice gradients that you can be accessing quickly anytime for your design maybe that one or that one or even that one or that bright one in here that pearl and you can be loading the next preset also from here as you can see you can be quickly access neutrals and pastels and so on so now let's go to our gradient panel in here and let's see how we can customize our gradient. Let me switch back to our default gradient, white and black. So we've got two types of gradient, linear and radial gradient. Radial will be like that and linear will be as it was. And here we've got our colors black in here and white and we can be dragging that slider to mix more black or even more white. And you will be seeing our sliders location 67.9 you can be switching from here as well maybe to 50% as it was back or even 80% and so on and say you would like to change that black color or white color you can double click on any of these colors and you will be seeing your color in here RGB mode and you can be changing that slider for choosing another color or even you can be switching to swatches for quicker access of colors maybe like that one or even a brighter gray like this one and also you can be changing the opacity of that specific color to make it more transparent so we've got opacity set to 100% we can be setting that one to maybe 30% and if we got any object below our layer we're going to be seeing that object through our background this could be very helpful if we've got two gradients on top of each others we can be mixing two gradients on top of each others and getting amazing results with that technique so I'm going to set it back to 100% and let's choose another color, maybe that one. And for our white, I'm going to be changing that one to maybe orange like that. Then I'm going to be dragging my slider a little bit, maybe to here or here. And also we can be changing our gradients angle from here. We can be setting that maybe to 30 degrees. Or even start holding our gradient tool which is in here or shortcut for that G on keyboard and then you will be seeing that line along which is set on 30 degrees as you can see starting with our orange color in here and also ending with our pink color in here so we can be dragging our slider just like we did from the panel maybe all the way to here and you will be seeing your slider changing in here or also set it back as it was and you can be changing these colors also from here as well if you would like double clicking on any of these colors and you can be setting a new gradient for that color maybe that brighter one or darker orange and so on and you can be dragging that line all the way along maybe from here to change your gradients angle maybe like that and you will be having a negative 33 degrees and if you start dragging that line even shorter you will be having a different gradient maybe like that let's get that one a little bit shorter maybe like that and you will be having a harsher transition in our colors and our gradient is only in that area so the longer that line it is the smoother our gradient will be so let me get that back to a smoother gradient as it was maybe like that and let's say we need to add even more colors to that gradient you can be hovering your mouse anywhere below that color gradient and you're gonna be seeing a plus symbol that means that you can be adding any color in here so once you click you're gonna be having a color that is matching that shade in here you can be clicking that color and you will be seeing your swatches and you can be choosing any color for instance to add it to your gradient maybe that one or even that one 
and we can be adding as many colors as we would like I can click in here as well and choose maybe another color to that gradient maybe I want to add that one and you will be having additional sliders between each two colors so you can be dragging your slider around for another control of your gradient and you'll be seeing your location as well you can set that back to 50 percent or 90 or 10 percent and so on and also you will be seeing these additional colors appearing on our gradient annotator tool which can be hidden anytime from our view menu that tool is called gradient annotator tool you can be hiding that one so when you drag like that you're not going to be seeing that line anymore of course it's much better to get it on so I'm gonna get it back on and once it's back we can be setting our gradient maybe as it was in here and let's say we don't need these two colors we can be dragging our colors to down and they will be removed and also same goes in here and we've got our gradient back as it was if we have any group like that group in here using our gradient tool and we can be dragging our gradient all the way you're not going to be seeing your annotator tool because it's not going to be visible on our group and in order to see your annotator tool you have to be selecting your path in your layer panel so you're going to be opening our layer and we've got our path so you will be seeing your group in here we can be deselecting that one and selecting our square you're going to be seeing that tool back again so this could be helpful for you if you're making a gradient on a group and you're not seeing that gradient tool you might start wondering why I'm not seeing this annotator tool anymore so back to our shape in here and let me select our background in here and switching back to gradient panel and let's convert our gradient to radial and then we will be seeing that aspect ratio option activated in here which means that we can convert that circle into an ellipse how much we would like to make that maybe 40% and we'll be having an ellipse like this one so I'm gonna undo that and I will start dragging my gradient tool and we'll be seeing our annotator tool in here starting from here and ending in here we can be sliding our color gradient to make it like that or even maybe like that same like linear but in a circular way and also we can be dragging our gradient circle to make it shorter so let me hide that artwork to make it even more visible to you guys I'm gonna go to layers I'm gonna hide that and you will be seeing that our gradient got even harsher and if we drag that one even a little bit shorter like that and it will be looking like a faded circle within a solid background so opening our gradient panel if we drag it like that we're gonna be having a different angle 85 percent and that angle will be important if we've got an ellipse instead of a circle you're gonna be seeing a difference in that gradient so our angles now will matter and we can be dragging that around to change our angle or even we can set that back as it was and we can start changing our ellipse to make it circle as it was like that so as you can see it's so customizable also from our gradient tool and we can be dragging our gradient center to make it on the center of our artwork and we can be dragging this one to make it even smoother like that so I'm gonna be showing our artwork again to check our gradient and see if it's nice and opening our gradient panel here and if you like that gradient and you want to save it to your swatches you can be opening your swatches panel you can be seeing that these colors are selected we can be adding new swatch from here and you can give it a name from here and then press ok and you will be having that as a new swatch and the other way to add any color to your swatch you can be dragging that one from here and add it like that and it will be added to your gradients and anytime we need to reapply that gradient on any object we can be selecting maybe these squares maybe that one and give it that gradient or even we can be selecting that square and using the eye drop tool to copy that fill however we will be also copying the stroke because the eye drop tool will be imitating the object's style will be copying all the attributes and appearance of that shape into our shape so if I click on that shape I will be having our gradient in however it will be having a stroke similar to that one which is one point stroke and plaque anyway I'm gonna undo that but keep in mind that when you're trying to copy a style 
it's quite apart from taking only the fill color like we did we added that color to our swatches to only use the fill color in here however if we start copying a style we will be having all the objects features added to our new object and if you pay a close attention in here you're going to be seeing that we have a stroke ingredient as well and that's one of the amazing features that we can be adding gradients to our strokes so i'm going to be selecting that one making our fill color to none and now we have three rounded squares with gradient strokes and let me switch that stroke color to something that's more visible in here i'm going to swatches i'm going to be selecting that one and now let's go to our gradient panel and see how we can make it even more visible let me zoom in a little bit moving that one around maybe like that let me take this off and give you more space guys so it will be more visible to you so here we can be changing our stroke maybe make it 50 percent like that and switching that to maybe 40 and we can be setting that one to linear to make it more visible and once you have a stroke with gradient you're going to be seeing these options activated one for gradient within a stroke like the one we're seeing in here and i'm going to select that one and give it gradient along the stroke and you will start seeing that harsh line in here which is the start of our two colors and they will be meeting in that area and if we select that one we're going to be seeing that one gradient across stroke and that one will make it look like radial however this one will make it look like linear as you can see the difference and that one will be giving us harsh transitions in gradient especially in the start of our gradient colors area and if you select your gradient tool you will see that it's not available to be used on these shapes so the only way to control your gradient for strokes from the gradient panel and you can be changing your angle maybe to 60 and you can be sliding your colors like that for more control of these colors however that angle option is only activated within that one gradient within a stroke while for the two other modes it's not going to be available and same as well in here you will have only controls over your two colors you can be dragging that one to make it like that or even make it like that so that's it for this lesson and i'll be seeing you in next one